In this BMC Helix Control Arm video, we will explore the different modes the agent process can use when running on a Windows host. The agent can execute jobs on a Windows host in one of several ways, depending on the configuration. By default, when a BMC Helix Control Arm agent is installed on Windows, the Windows service is configured to log on as the local system account. As well, Control Arm is configured with the parameter Log On As User set to No. What this means is that when running a job, the run as user in the job definition is ignored and the job executes as if it were logged on as local system. If you only change the properties of the agent window service to log on as one of your local or domain users, then all jobs are executed as that user. If you set the parameter log on as user to yes, then the agent submits the jobs using the Windows Log On API and the credentials of the run as user defined in the job no matter what the Windows service has for logon. Let's take a look at an example. In Control M, I have two jobs defined to run on my Windows agent named DemoWin that run a simple set command to show the username. One job has run as set to a non-existing user, and the other is a valid user named eRudy. I ran both these jobs in the default mode, and looking at the output, Notice that the set command returns a different user than the run as user in both jobs, and they both succeed. This is because the jobs run as local system from the Windows service, and log on as user is no in the Control M configuration. On the Windows host, the Control M SAS agent Windows service still has the default of local system. But now I want to change its log on user in this account to a valid Windows user, in this case, administrator. Once making the change, it'll be necessary to restart the service. Stop the service, and then simply start it back up again. Let's see what happens to the jobs now. Back in Control M, I reran these jobs, and looking in the output, the jobs still have the same run as user we used earlier, but the output now shows the username variable is set to administrator. The first is still a non-existing user in Windows, but it ends OK. This is because the Windows service now runs as administrator and log on as user is still no. Back on the agent in a command prompt, I'll run the CTM Win CFG utility and set the log on as user value to yes, and then save. There's no need to recycle anything at this point. This change means that the jobs first log in with the credentials defined in the jobs run as user before executing. I reran the jobs in Control M and both fail now. I can understand the first job since its run as user is not an existing Windows user, but the second job has a valid Windows user and should have run successfully. Looking at the job log, we see the reason is because eRudy is not defined. To define the user, go to Configuration, define Run As User, click Add, enter that Run As User, and then enter the password. One note, the Run As User is case sensitive in Control M, but case insensitive in Windows. So use the right value here based upon what you have in the run as user in the job definition. Once complete, we'll go back to monitoring and rerun this job. And see that it ends successfully now. Looking at the output, we can see that the username is now eRudy and matches the run as user. Thank you for watching this BMC Helix Control Arm Solutions video. As you can see, there are several ways to execute jobs on a Windows host, and depending on the applications you run, they may require a specific type of configuration to run properly. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.